Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, my name is Odds and we are going to be doing an empties video. I've got quite a few empties here in my little empties Disneyland Paris bag. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here today, I would love for you to subscribe. I do two videos a week, beauty, vlogs, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, sometimes film and other television and stuff. There's something on this channel for everyone, so be sure to subscribe to stay tuned. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going in no particular order, just the order that they're piled in my bag. So first I have these adult multivitamin gummies. They're the Up and Up brand from Target. I prefer the women's. These were just like the gender neutral version of the vitamins so I definitely prefer the women's because they have a, a different flavor but they're very yummy um, I know it's like kind of childlike to to be like oh I have to have a yummy vitamin but it's true <laughs> I have a Neutrogena makeup melting jelly cleanser I really liked this I have another one as well I have the skin balance so the white one is a makeup remover, and then the pink one is a uh, hydrating gel cleanser. I liked both of these a lot. I was going to repurchase them, but I couldn't find them. I bought these at Target originally, um, and I do think they sell them at Ulta as well, so I'll have to buy that next time. I ended up buying the other Neutrogena fresh foaming cleanser that is a makeup remover instead of this, but I prefer this because it's a little bit more hydrating. I have a hand soap. I have, this is from Bath & Body Works, Tis the Season Fresh or Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Um, it smelled like cranberries, I think. Yeah, it had a cranberry scent, so it was just a nice little holiday foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. Usual for me, I have, I think, another one of these in here somewhere, too. It's the Pixie Glow Tonic. I love this. This is my favorite toner of all time. It makes your face look so glowy and so fresh. I just adore this product so much, and I've repurchased it for, like, the past two years. So I've gone through tons of these bottles, different sizes. This is just the size that they sell at Ulta. have an eyeliner. This one went kind of fast. This is the Maybelline hyper easy liner it was all right um the brush got a little bit weird and it flaked off a little bit it is a brush tip liner um it's all right i would definitely recommend the wet n wild breakup proof over this though just saying and it's cheaper finish a foundation uh this is the wet n wild photo focus dewy foundation i really loved this not a huge fan of the paddle. I wish it had a pump. Um, so it has, there's still like a, barely any left, but there is a paddle. If you can see that. Um, so it's interesting form of application. Um, and it's a really cheap foundation, but it's really good and really hydrating. Finish my favorite primer. Now, this is getting discontinued, so I bought a backup. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I used this tube to its last drop. Um, I love this. It's a dupe for the Milk, Make Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I think it's better than that. I'm using another one that's kind of like a dupe for that, but I definitely prefer this. It makes your makeup last all day so definitely recommend this it's currently still available on the elf website and it's on sale so definitely would recommend picking it up before it gets discontinued used up a hand sanitizer spray this is the everyone hand sanitizer spray lavender and aloe i know there's a little tiny bit left but it doesn't spray anymore um so this is made with moisturizing ingredients. I mean, it's a hand sanitizer, so it's going to dry out your hands. It's not going to be that moisturizing. But I really love this, and I love the scent of it, but it is all empty. I think I got this at either Target or Whole Foods. I used, these are from Amazon. These are the Sheets Laundry Club Laundry, Club laundry Sheets. They are detergent. They just don't work. I mean, 
liquid detergent works so much better than these do. So I'm just finding that it doesn't work as well as liquid laundry detergent, unfortunately, since this is better for the environment, but unfortunately it just doesn't, doesn't work. Use this Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. It's just shaving cream. There wasn't anything particularly important about it. I'm using a shave oil, which I definitely prefer to cream. I don't love shaving cream, so I don't know why I purchased this. I think I was like, oh, let me just try this because it's Flamingo, which is owned by Harry's. So I was like, let me just try this, and I didn't love it. So, yeah. Use, um, oh wait, these are like a lot of big products. A Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the vitamin C version. So I used this one all the way up. I didn't notice it any particular difference different to the regular one. So I would say just go with the, the regular blue bottle one. But I really like that product. I have two other glow tonics in here actually. So I used three glow tonics since my last empties video. Used a Schmitz natural deodorant. This is the what scent is this? Rosemary and olive oil. These have just crazy weird scents. Um, but this is the only deodorant I can use that doesn't make my arms break out. So that's that's fun. And it actually works for a natural deodorant, but it is for sensitive skin. So all of them are for good sensitive skin and they work pretty well. If you're looking for a good natural deodorant that doesn't break you out. Used up one of my favorites, the Method Body Wash Deep tea, deep Detox Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea Body Wash. I feel like the Method Body Washes just get you so clean that other body washes don't come even close, but these definitely help you feel so, so clean. I promise I have like exciting products. This doesn't feel that empty. Um, this is the Tea Tree and Mint Conditioner. Um, so I use this up from OGX. Um, I am currently using something else, um, but I used OGX for a few years. I kind of go back and forth. But um, for right now, I'm not using this again, but I do did like this. I have very thin, I would say straight, but now it's not that straight hair. Let's do a few makeup products. So this is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder in light. Um, so there's some on the outside, but I pretty much use this all the way up. This was pretty good. I didn't notice it made my eyes too dry, which a lot of under eye powders do, because I have really dry skin and dry under eyes. So I noticed that this kind of was a little bit more uh, I wouldn't say hydrating, but it was more radiant than a lot of other powders. So I don't think I'll repurchase this, but it was a decent powder. Finished three mascaras, or two mascaras and a primer. So the primer is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. I'm just going to toss this because it's old, um, but I don't particularly use this. Um, I think it's helpful for certain mascaras that need more help. Like I definitely used it with the Maybelline Snapscara. Um, cause it def- that mascara definitely needed help. And this was supposed to be a tubing mascara, but I didn't notice it did anything particularly great for my lashes. And then the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara, the purple tube. This was probably my favorite out of the Essence mascaras, but they're just like smudging and looking really clumpy in terms of mascaras for me. So I probably won't repurchase these for quite a while. I have two other liquid liners here. I have the Revlon Colorstay Sharp Line. This is a felt tip liner, so definitely probably won't repurchase that because I don't love felt tips. And then the NYX Epic Ink Liner in brown. Um, I like the one in black. I don't think I'll purchase the one in brown again just because it didn't show the type of brown that I wanted it to, and I would rather just use a pencil. Another mascara, the Rare Beauty... Uh, whatever this mascara is called, the mini version of the Rare Beauty mascara. It was okay, I definitely wouldn't purchase the full size, I just didn't notice it doing anything particularly great for my lashes, again. 
few brow products here. Are these the exact same? Yes. So, two of the ColourPop um, brow gels. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but in light brown. I'm wearing this today. I love this product. Um, I feel like it just looks so good on its own. It's my favorite brow gel. And then I use up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Brown Brow Wiz, which I really liked the color and I thought it was really nice, a nice, like it wasn't too creamy and it wasn't too too stiff. So it's a good brow pencil. I just prefer the ColourPop one because it has a better shade match and it's cheaper. I'm going to finish up the makeup and then I have a few things of skincare. So I have a concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the mini size of chart shape tape. I would not repurchase this. It's too drying on my skin. I just have too dry of skin to use this particular product. Two primers. I know this has some left in it, but I am going to go ahead and toss it. This is the e.l.f. Brusher Paradise Glow Oil. This has been discontinued, um, but it was really nice hydrating primer, um, and it made my makeup last pretty well. And then the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I just had a mini size. I would not repurchase this. I didn't feel like it really did anything for my skin in terms of staying power or really glow factor at all. All right, and the last stuff is skincare. So we have four products left. The fourth product we have here is the e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Toner. It's just this mini toner. I use it for travel. It was all right, but she was no pixie glow tonic. Keeping with e.l.f., I have the Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is the one with SPF 30. I use this, I really love this moisturizer. I use this every single day and have repurchased this one. Last two products we have here are from Fourth Ray Beauty. Um, one of them leaked, so it got rid of most of the product there. This is the Radiate Vitamin C Serum. Um, I thought this was okay. I, again, it's no nothing near the e.l.f. Vitamin C Serum that I really love. So I definitely recommend the e.l.f. one. And then the 4th Ray Coconut Milk Face Cream, Face Milk. 4th Ray Coconut Face Milk. Um, I mentioned before when I tried this, it smelled like SCAD. Um, Savannah College of Art and Design, when I went there, it smelled like this. <laughs> so it just kind of reminded me of that. I would definitely try another one of these. Um, but I have some other like face masks that I have to try for the evening, so um, will not purchase anytime soon. So I used 33 products today, so that is, or used up 33 products in total, so that's quite a bit, especially a bunch of bigger products, but definitely stay tuned for future empties videos probably in a few months and future beauty videos as well as all other videos I do on this channel. I'd appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me in the algorithm. And I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. Bye!